Do you want an easier way to let people sign in? Awesome! Today we are learning about Firebase Authentication. It helps you add secure logins with email and password to your app. Hey everyone, Mahdi is here. In this video, we will learn how to use Firebase like a pro. Set up Firebase in a few minutes, make a strong sign up and sign in with email and password, and get user information. It's gonna be fun and easy, so let's jump right in. The first step is to set up Firebase. Let's jump to the Firebase documentation. I have been using CLI to set up Firebase for a long time. I suggest the same to you. I use Windows but it is the same in Linux and Mac OS and it doesn't make any difference. For setup, we can use both NPM and standalone binary. I prefer to use standalone binary so I download the Firebase CLI binary and then I open it. Now, first we need to log into our Google account. In the next step, based on the Firebase document, enter this command to activate the Firebase CLI. Then, in the next step, we move into our project path that we created and enter the Flutter Fire Configure command. Select the Create a New Project option, then Firebase asks us to enter an ID for the project. For example, I enter Firebase Authentication 007. You can enter anything. Now, Firebase starts building the project and after finishing building the project, it asks us to choose which platform this project supports. I choose Android but Firebase does the configuration for other platforms as well. Now, everything is ready and the Firebase setup is done. Now, if we open the project, we can see that the Firebase options file has been generated and this means that the Firebase setup is done correctly. To fix these errors, it is enough to add Firebase core and Firebase authentication libraries. That's it. So I do it. The first thing to do after setting up Firebase and adding libraries is to initialize Firebase so that we can use Firebase in the project. To do this, we must call the initial app method in the main.dart file and before run app. This method asks us for an option that we can take help from the generated Firebase options file and use the current platform option which returns the configuration based on the Android or iOS or web platform. Great, let's go ahead. Before we start coding, let's check the Firebase dashboard. In the Firebase dashboard and in the authentication section, we do all the work related to authentication. In the user section, we can see all the registered users. We can even add users manually, but if we want to add it manually or if we want the user to register from the application, we have to activate the email and password option in the signing method. So I do this. Okay. Now, let's start coding. Well, as you can see, the application UI is ready so that the video time does not increase and you don't get bored. I implemented it and you can access the source code of the application on GitHub in the description. In this video, we will implement the logic. So first, I create a folder called services. Then inside this folder, I create a new file called authentication service. Now, here I define a class called authentication service. We have two methods, signing and sign up. So we will have two methods in this class. I start with the sign up method. I define a feature method named sign up which takes two parameters named email and password. I'm going to put a try catch inside this method because there might be a problem in using Firebase. So we should be able to handle it in catch. In Firebase, we can use the create user with email and password method to create a user. This method requires us two parameters, email and password, that we have to pass the email and password entered by the user. Everything seems to be fine and we can use this method. But a personal programmer always tries to handle errors and exceptions. So we need to handle Firebase authentication exceptions. Firebase authentication has two exceptions. When the password is weak or the email is duplicate. I want to show a message to the user when these two exceptions occur. So I put the desired message in a variable name message. Then I show the message to the user using a toast. Now let's go back to the UI and registration page and call this function. When we click on the sign up button, we must call the sign up method in the authentication service class and pass the email and password parameters.
Now I want to test. First, I enter my email and then I enter a weak password and click on the button. Toast should show that the password is weak. And now I enter a strong password and click on the sign up button again. We see that a successful message is displayed and it means that the user has been created. And if we check in the Firebase panel and in the user section, we will see that a user has been created. That's it. What do you think will happen if I click the button again? Yes, that's right. We see a message saying that the email is duplicate. I created home page where I get the information of the user registered in this phone using the current user in Firebase and show the user's email. We also have a sign out button. What I want to do now is to transfer the user to the home page when the user registers. We can do this very easily. Just create one second delay in the sign up method after the user is created and then transfer the user to the home page using push replacement. Now I enter a new email and register again. And that's it. As you can see, we are moved to the home page and the user's email is also displayed. Okay, great. User registration is complete and we can now jump to the user login implementation. The first step is to create the signing method. The signing method is exactly the same as the sign up method. So I copy the sign up method and just change its name to signing. And instead of using create user with email and password, we should use the signing with email and password method. The last change we need to make here is to handle exceptions. In login, we have two exceptions when the email entered by the user is wrong and the user cannot be found with this email. And the next exception is when the user entered the wrong password. That's it. And now we can call this method on the login page and when the user clicks on the sign in button. Now I enter my email and password incorrectly. As you can see, error is displayed and I can't go to the home page. And if I enter my email and password correctly, we will see that we are transferred to the home page. So this is a good news. The last thing we need to do is to create the sign out method so that the user can exit the application. In the authentication service class, I define a new method called sign out. Inside this method, we don't need to do much work. It is enough to call the sign out method using Firebase. And finally, after the user signs out, after one second, and delay, I redirect the user to the login page. That's it. Email and password are one of the Firebase authentication methods. If we look at the Firebase dashboard, we can see that there are other methods. If you have any questions about Firebase authentication, I will definitely help you. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you later.